What's up guys, Zelda Inferno here, and welcome to my last video of 2021. This is gonna be a very raw and, for the most part, unedited video. Uh, I don't even know if I'm gonna put an intro in this video. I just don't think it's necessary. Um, but yeah, 2021 is finally coming to an end. Uh, this video is probably going to be uploaded sometime at night because I've, I've been home for a little bit, but uh, I just got home not too long ago. But essentially, I just sat down. I should, probably should have had this video filmed uh, a few days ago, but I've just been really busy. Um, another thing before we get into the main topic, I hope you all enjoyed uh, uh, my recent video from earlier today talking about uh, what I hope to see from Glitch Productions in 2022. Um, I've been getting a lot of support on my videos. Yeah, well, yeah, my videos don't get a ton of views, but I'm really content with it. I'm very happy with how things are going. We're now at 1.89K, so 10 more subscribers, and we'll only need 100 left until 2,000. So, And don't worry, I will still be doing a giveaway at 2,000 subscribers. I know I said... Um, if we get it before the end of the year, but I, I don't even care. We're, we're doing a giveaway, and I'm probably going to do something really fun. to Like, I, I was thinking of, like, a, a, a Smash Ultimate tournament or something uh, as a way to give, like, away a console or something. I know, for 2,000 subscribers, giving away, like, a Nintendo Switch OLED it sounds fucking insane, I know. But, you know, I, I just... I want to show that I care about you guys. Um, but anyway... I wanted to make this video as sort of a reflection of 2021 because 2021 has proved to be the hardest year of my life. I'm, I'm really going to try not to cry in this video. In fact, I already did a lot of my crying before I started filming, but <sighs> this year sucks. Like, I know... Years are subjective, like what one person thinks is a great year could uh, turn out to be a sh really shitty year for someone else. Even though I'm pretty sure most people can agree that 2020 and 2021 were pretty shitty, were pretty shitty uh, both in their own unique ways, specifically because of this pandemic. And the, pan and the pandemic has reached itself to affecting my own family. Uh, for those of you who are new to the channel or just haven't really looked at all my videos, um, on September 21st, 2021, my older brother Ethan passed away from COVID-19. And I'm still not over it. Um, <coughs> sorry. Um, I have a lot to say, but I, I think I'm... I don't want to keep boring you guys with with my nonsense, but essentially, yeah, he he passed away from COVID nineteen, and we were we were all so hopeful too, like because he legitimately started getting better. Like it seemed he was getting his energy back. Um, he was starting to eat again, which was always nice to see. Um, at one point, like, cause you know when he passed by his bedroom door and and heard. Like, you would always hear YouTube, essentially, or him watching anime or something in his room. Um, and he, when he first got COVID, he just stopped doing that altogether. 90% of the day, he was just sleeping, and it was horrible to see. And then, you know, he started getting better, but as he got better, he then started to get worse similar to this pandemic. Like, remember earlier this year, we all were very hopeful that the pandemic is getting slightly more under control because, you know, they lifted the mask requirement in most places. And now, <laughs> most places require a mask now. Like, yeah, if you're vaccinated, I, I still don't think... Some places might still make you wear a mask even if you're vaccinated. I don't know. But essentially... Yeah, he, he just got worse. We we haven't really gotten the autopsy yet, so I can't tell you like what what part of it got to him, but I think we're 
we're, we're all just assuming that it was probably something like pneumonia and you know that I'll never forget that day you know the trauma will never leave no matter how hard, hard I try and again like I'm really trying to keep my composure in this video um, but yeah it's been really hard it's put a huge mental toll on my entire family literally my whole life is shattered and I, I I still don't really quite know where to go with my life um, but that's kind of why I make these videos well I mean I'll be honest I first started making videos around October of 2017 which was a few months after my dad passed away from a sudden heart attack or whatever. They didn't even do an autopsy on him, I don't think. But so I, I'm sorry. I'm just blanking out. Uh, again, this is all gonna be fucking unedited for the most part. Um. But yeah, I'm I'm no stranger to trauma. Shit sucks. And Ethan was my best friend in the whole fucking world. Literally the night before he passed away, we were on the phone and I and I was very close to calling 911. I was so worried he was having trouble breathing. Um I don't I don't know why he had to be so stubborn and say that he was fine when he damn well knew that he wasn't. But I, I was on the phone. I'm just like, "Dude, we you need to get better soon. Like we have so much to do. Like I'm not going to watch you die." And I, I don't remember if those were the exact words I said, but basically, <laughs> that's basically what I was getting at. And uh, one thing I told him, like, you need to get better so that we can finish Avatar The Last Airbender. Because I, I, I know, I, I've sinned. I've never seen Avatar The Last Airbender before. But we were watching it, and we had, like, two more episodes left in season one. And I remember the night where we were watching it, we could have very well finished the season that night, but I was really tired, and I didn't. I'm just like, you know what? Maybe, like, not tonight. We'll, we'll watch it, like, tomorrow. And, like, a day or two later, he got diagnosed with COVID. And and he just spent the rest of his life in his room. And it, it sucks. It, it really sucks. And... But, yeah. It's... I, I wanted I, I wanted to have an, a general idea of how I wanted to I'm saying wanted too fucking much. I had originally had a general idea of how I wanted this video to to be. I had a, a general idea of the things I wanted to talk about, but now it's just like everything is just kind of like most of the shit I've been through this year had to do with that. Like and he only passed away like a few months ago, so it hasn't even been that long, but it feels like forever since I've last seen him. And I, I just, right now, I feel like I'm talking, going off the rails. Um, but I haven't cried so far in this video, which is good. Um, but yeah, it's made me, my mental health crazy. And for those of you who don't know, I struggle with severe amounts of anxiety it's like sometimes i might not even look directly at the camera if you'll notice like i i also have like adhd which is a, probably a part of it you know I'm, i have a lot of stuff fucked up with me you know i have a lot of shit wrong with me and it this has not made things any worse like i know <sighs> i'm sorry I've been suicidal at times. It's, <laughs> I'm sorry, this video got really dark and really serious, but I wanted, I just wanted to let you all know what's going on. That's basically my whole life these last few months is just depression. And luckily the th only thing keeping me going is not just my family, and you guys, but, and I, I, I don't want to start like a religious battle in the comments. Please don't. But the only, the main thing keeping me going is the possibility of me seeing my brother, me seeing my, my fucking brother again. Sorry. I, 
want to everything I do is for him. Me continuing making these videos is for him because it's what he wanted to do, wanted me to do. Like he enjoyed watching my channel grow and it he was such a support figure and I'm I'm sorry if you're f just now finding out stuff about me you never wanted to know. Um, but I, I just felt like this was a good opportunity as we're ending the year to not just talk about what's going on in my life, but just venting some shit. There's a lot of shit that I probably won't go into in this video because it's too personal, so please understand, but, um, yeah, that's basically all I want to talk about with Ethan. But what, what, what good happened this year? I, I think... Despite this being a really hard year for my whole family, I, I still think I still think there was some good to be had. A lot of cool stuff happened this year. You know, <laughs> a lot of great games came out. A lot of cool announcements that I even covered on the channel. A lot happened. Like, oh my gosh, guys. I'm sorry. I'm trying to really lighten the mood because that got really fucking dark, but... You guys have been super supportive, other than that one fucking person, sorry. I, I just find it funny because, like, I'm still a very small channel on YouTube, but I got people making hate videos. <laughs> There's only one person. There's, like, the six-year-old. I don't know if he's speaking in another language. I'm not trying to be offen offensive here, but I don't know if he was speaking in another language or if it was gibberish. I, I could barely understand what he was saying, but it was most likely another language. But he was just going on about <laughs> how he didn't agree with something from a meta runner theory I made. So he was like super, he, he was saying it's the worst YouTube channel ever. And I'm like, okay, I, I don't really care. I just thought it was funny that I'm growing enough to where people are making videos with me. Even videos with only like 10 views. But only, but then again, my videos don't get that many views anyway. So I can't really argue there. Um, <laughs> I just, but for the most part, you guys have been very supportive. And I, I appreciate every single one of you. And we will continue to strive going into 2022. A lot is riding on next year. Hopefully it's better. But then again, we always say a year is going to be better than the last. And what ends up happening is the year is just as bad, if not worse. So I'm keeping my expectations in check. But yeah, despite all the bad stuff happening, good did come of it, I guess. And I hope you guys had an okay year better than mine um but yeah i can't wait to see where this channel goes in the future i have an update video uh coming out hopefully on january 3rd so the, the second or third probably the second actually i think around january 2nd i'll be uploading a channel update video uh we're gonna have I'm not going to talk about any more depressing, depressing shit. This is the only video where I'm allowing to talk about depressing shit and just what's been going on in my life. Um, but yeah, uh, look forward to that video. 2022 is looking to be very spicy and I can't wait for you all to join me on this journey and hopefully our channel will grow. Hopefully if my channel starts growing, growing more, maybe we can hit three to 4,000 subscribers before the end of next year. I know that's such a crazy thing to want and it probably most definitely won't happen, but uh, you know, who knows? But yeah, uh, be sure to drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it. As well as be sure to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with all my content. I want to wish you all a very happy new year. But yeah, with that being said, I want to thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, guys, I've been Zelda Inferno, and I'll see you later. Bye.